by Anthony Point here. Now, as I said in my previous video, my brother got a few uh, Crimson Invasion. He got a booster pack online for 16 bucks. As I said, if you got a chance to buy a booster pack for $16 online, it's a ripoff. They're going to be fake cards. They're going to be flash cards, whatever they want to call them, but they're fakes. You can tell by the pack how loose they are, the artwork, how shiny and shit. Taki mushrooms. Mostly. But let's jump into giving away some code cards. And then I will open those four Crimson Invasion packs. So amazing. But just so I can illustrate a point of what and how to tell the difference between a fake card and a real card. But like I always say in the same type of way. Uh, leave in the comment section below what y'all get from all these code cards, if you get anything at all, that is. And if you get to the video first, claim one or two, and then leave the rest for other people online to claim them as well. Because there are children and teenagers and stuff that don't have full access, can't get to them as quick. And if you subscribe to my channel, put your notification bell on, and it will notify you when I put a code card video up, or an opening video up. For everyone to enjoy. So in my previous video, there are uh, codes that I gave away as well, and this one will be another a two-time code giveaway, which I never really do two code card giveaways in the same day, but I'll make an exception for today. So it'll be a quick four or five minute video. Just so I can give an example to everyone what to look for when purchasing or getting uh, stuff online of the Pokemon TCG type. Now it is hot today. It is scorching hot. Humid as heck. Went up to the store and I was sweltering. I had to change my beater. This beater that I already changed into is already damp. And I am located in Indiana so I don't know everyone else where y'all are from, but it is sweltering here in Indiana. My children are outside playing, and they are insane. Because I would not be caught dead outside. I would be outside caught dead if I was outside, because it is hot. So we're almost wrapped up here with the code cards, as I'm dripping with sweat. All together from my previous video on this one, it's probably a hundred code cards given away. And I'm still doing my contest till the end of this month, so if anyone wants to enter, send in those cards. Alright. Now we have four Crimson Invasion packs. Just the back alone is already a hint. Pokemon.com in big bold letters, which definitely doesn't look like that on normal packs. has Pokemon.com and normal packs, but the fonting is definitely very different. Let's open one of these, see what it contains. There is no code card in these packs, but we have a Torkoal, a Wismer, a Pulse, Kyogre, Hustle Belt, Delmice, Beldum, and look at that, an Ultra Rare Full Art Turtonator. Now, if you all know anything about Pokemon, one, half these cards don't go to this set. Simple as that. And then, two, that's a Guardians Rising Ultra Rare right there, Full Art. And there's no texture, it's just completely fake, you could tell. If I had a Turtonator, I could put them side by side. Now, the artworks for normal are pretty spot on. But you could just tell if you were right here, you could feel, feel them, how fake they are. And see the difference in the tint of the back of them it is another big sign. Well, that's one. So let's, uh, let's jump into the second pack and see what we get. Hopefully, we can pull a Hyper Rare. Wink. And all, every seat, I just opened this, 
the ultra rare is in the back upside down and flipped and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine cards when a pack comes with ten and an energy there is no energy you can't even play guess the energy game with these Shuppet, Kyogre, Kartana, Torchic, Baltoy, Registeel, and a Solgaleo GX. Oh, my lucky day. So since there's only nine, we're going to open the last two. And we're just going to put them together and do it like that so we can get these done and over with. But this is just a look. This one right here is damaged. It wasn't even put all the way onto the card in, in on this pack. So we're gonna flip. We're gonna flip. And then we'll go through them. Electrike, Whale Lord, Shuppet, Kyogre. And if you notice, it's the same, almost the same uh, assortment. Iggy and Eisel, Torchic, Baltoy. Ah! Uh, Full Art Tapu Coco GX. Wow, the luck of my pulls is amazing. And then we got Shelgon, Illusamese, Minetric, Claydol, Spoink, Meltang, a Minetric, which don't go to that set, Fisherman, and a Full Art Tapu Lele GX. So I got the Tapu Coco and the Tapu Lele. But if you even look at the back, look how shiny that is. They should not be shined like this. Online, you will see these be called flash cards. Flash cards is just another way of saying copied on shiny cards. But, just so everyone can look for certain signs that's close to what the pack looks like. But even the plastic is different. It's very different. I, if you were right here, you'd be able to feel it. But that's all. Everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. To get a good look at what to look for, try if you're ordering online, single boxes, packs, boosters, even looking at the pack firsthand, you'll be able to tell that it is indeed fake. And I hope no one out there is uh, gullible enough to get scammed like uh, my brother did, just playing. But, you know, there are people out there that will make money off of people that are collectors or just trying to make a... Uh, make a hobby and it's something they enjoy and there's people that unfortunately will take advantage of that So everyone just stay safe Make sure you look for the Pokemon dot Pokemon TCG official Gaming website if you're gonna order anything or card shops that you go to that you know do not sell fake cards that have an online dispensary as well So with that in mind keep on keep Pokemon it up and peace out <laughs>